you're kind of implying that mathematics, it, it almost feels like a kind of weird evolutionary tree that ultimately leads back to some kind of ancestral few fundamental ideas that all are just like, they're all somehow connected. Uh, in that sense, do you think uh, math is fundamental to our universe and we're just like slowly trying to understand th these patterns or is, 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 it, is it discovered or is it just a, a little game that we play yeah. uh, uh, amongst ourselves to try to yeah. fit little patterns to the world? Yeah, that's the question, right? That's the physicist's question. I mean, I'm probably, I'm in the discovered camp but I don't do theoretical physics, so I know they have a they they feel feel like they have a stronger claim to, to answering that question. But so everything comes back to it. Everything comes back to it. I mean, all of physics comes the, the fact that the universe is well, okay. It's a complicated question. So how how often do you think how deeply does this result describe the fundamental reality of nature? So the 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 reason I hesitated, the, the, because it's something I'm, I taught this seminar and did a little work on what are called biological algorithms. Nice. So there's this notion cool. of, so physicists used mathematics to explain the universe, right? And it was unreasonable that mathematics works so well. You know, all these differential equations, why does that explain all we need to know about thermodynamics and gravity and all the, all these type of things? Well, there's this, there's this movement within the intersection of computer science and biology, uh, this is kind of Wolframium, I guess, really, yeah. that uh, algorithms can be very explanatory, right? That, like, if you're trying to if you're trying to explain parsimoniously something about like an ant colony or something like this, you're not going to ultimately. It's not going to be explained as an equation, like a physics equation. It's going to be explained by an algorithm. So, like this algorithm, run distributedly is going to explain the behavior. So that's mathematical, but not quite mathematical, but it is if you think about an algorithm like a lambda calculus, which brings you back to the, the world of mathematics. So I'm thinking out loud here, but basically abstract math is sort of like unreasonably effective at explaining a lot of things. And that's just what I feel like I glimpse. I'm not a, um, not like a super well-known theoretician. I don't have really famous results. So even as a sort of middling, you know, career theoretician, I keep encountering this where we think we're solving some problem about computers and algorithms, and it's some much deeper underlying math. It's Shannon, but Shannon is entropy, but entropy was really, you know, goes all the way back to whatever it was, Boyle, or all the way back to looking at the early physics. And and it's, anyways, to me, I think it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, but it could be, the flip side of that could be just our brains draw so much pleasure from the uh, deriving generalized theories and simplifying the universe that we just naturally see that kind of simplicity in everything. Yeah, so that's the whole, you know, Newton to Einstein, right? Yeah. So you can you can say this must be right because it's so predictive. And, well, it's not quite predictive because Mercury wobbles a little bit, but I think we have it set and then you turn out, no, Einstein. And then and then you get Bohr, like, no, not Einstein. It's actually statistical. And yeah, so that well, would it's, it's, hard, it's hard to also know like where a smooth analysis fits into all that or a little bit of noise, like you can say something very clean about a system and then a little bit of noise, like the average case is actually very different. And so, yeah. I mean, that's where like the quantum mechanics comes in. It's like, ugh, why does it have to be randomness in this? Yeah, I would have to do this complex statistics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so to be determined. Yeah, that, that'll be my next book. That'd be ambitious. <laughs> the <laughs> fundamental... The fundamental core of reality, comma, and some advice for being more productive at work. 